From Genesis to Revelation, cover to cover of the Bible, we read an incredible story about God the Father putting the pieces of his family back together again. Humans, his greatest creation and treasure, made a choice to rebel against God, their creator. And in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, we read about Jesus, the hero of the story, who came to make things right between us and God. He died the death that we deserved to die and offered us a freedom that reunites us with God. In Acts chapter 2, Peter, one of Jesus' apostles, is telling thousands of people about all of this, proclaiming the truth of Jesus. In verse 37, we read, When the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and asked, What should we do? Peter responds, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. We're told that that day, 3,000 people were baptized and the church gained so much momentum. And as you read through the rest of the New Testament, you'll see this pattern happen over and over again. People acknowledge that they've sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And they learn about Jesus who wants to be the hero in their story and they step into his grace in baptism. I love what Romans chapter six tells us about this. We're told that when we are baptized, we join Jesus in his death and his burial. And finally, as we're brought up out of the water, we join him in his resurrection, people who are made new again. We believe and teach that when a person comes to this realization of who Jesus is and what he's done for us, they ought to quickly and joyfully want to be baptized. So what about you? Are you at that point of wanting to follow Jesus, of wanting to unite your life with his? We would love to know your story. We would love to know that you're ready for this step in your life.